His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today offered profound condolences to His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah to the Emir of the State of Kuwait over the passing of the late His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah. His Majesty the King also offered condolences and sympathy to the sons of the deceased and to the Al Sabah family praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace and to bless the Honorable As-Sabah family and the Kuwaiti people with patience and solace. His Majesty King Hamad lauded the achievements and virtues of the late His Highness Sheikh Nawaf, highlighting his efforts to advance his country in all fields as well as serve his people and the Arab and Islamic nations, in addition to his contributions to consolidating the joint Gulf Cooperation Council GCC march along with other GCC leaders, affirming the distinguished regional and global status enjoyed by the state of Kuwait during his reign. His Majesty the King expressed his full confidence that His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah will carry on the development and progress a process to bring about more prosperity for Kuwait and its people, thanks to His Highness's statesmanship and long experience in managing state affairs. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to guide His Highness Sheikh Mish'al on the right path of success and to bless him with abundant health and wellness, affirming the continuity of joint efforts to consolidate the two countries' deep-rooted, solid fraternal relations, which have been strengthened further over the past years to serve common interests. His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed, the Emir of the State of Kuwait, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad for his sincere sentiments and supplications reflecting the depth of the distinguished historical fraternal relations between the two countries and their peoples, wishing His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned to the homeland following a visit to Kuwait, where he offered his condolences to his brother, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, on the demise of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah. Earlier in the day, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa left Bahrain on a visit to Kuwait to offer condolences on the demise of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah.
on behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, the Deputy King His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today attended the Commemoration Day ceremony held under His Royal Highness's patronage at the Al Sakhir Palace today. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness, who was accompanied by a convoy of cavalry, was welcomed by the Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, National Guard Commander, Lieutenant General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa in addition to senior officials, senior officers, and families of the fallen servicemen. The deputy king headed to the main platform and the national anthem was played on the occasion of the commemoration day.
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. Verses from the Holy Quran were recited. The artillery fired one shot, and a minute of silence was observed, and then a second artillery shot was fired. يقاتلون في سبيل الله فيقتلون ويقتلون وعدا عليه حقا في التوراة والإنجيل والقرآن ومن أوفى بعهده من الله فاستبشروا ببيعكم الذي بايعتم به وذلك هو الفوز العظيم التائبون العابدون الحامدون السائحون الراكعون الساجدون الآمرون بالمعروف الآمرون بالمعروف والناهون عن المنكر والحافظون لحدود الله وبشر المؤمنين صدق الله العظيم Arbi A musical band played the last return melody, which ended with a fly pass by a fighter jet squadron from the Royal Bahraini Air Force RBAF in tribute to the fallen servicemen. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 
Court of Cassation's Sharia Department Chairman and Al Fatih Mosque Imam Sheikh Adnan bin Abdullah Al Gatlan delivered a speech paying homage to the martyrs of duty and offering prayers to them. Sheikh Adnan bin Abdullah thanked His Majesty King Muhammad for des designating the 17th of December as Commemoration Day in recognition of the sacrifices made by the fallen servicemen who lost their lives while performing their patriotic duties. The National Guard commander advanced to the, to the head of the column where he saluted His Royal Highness, the Deputy King, Sheikh Adnan bin Abdullah prayed for further health and prosperity to His Majesty the king, as well as continued success for His Royal Highness to fulfill the royal aspirations to achieve further development which will benefit the kingdom and its citizens. الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد اللهم ارحم شهداء الوطن الأبرار وحط عنهم الأوزار وقهم عذاب النار وأنزلهم منازل الأخيار وأدخلهم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار يا عزيز يا غفار اللهم نور مرقدهم وطيب مضجعهم وآنس وحشتهم وارحم غربتهم وقهم عذاب القبر وعذاب النار ونقهم من الذنوب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس يا سميع الدعاء اللهم قد ترك الشهداء أهلهم وودعوا أحبابهم وفارقوا ذويهم اللهم فارحم دموع المحبين وحنين المشتاقين اللهم واجمع بينه وبين أهلهم وأولادهم في جنات النعيم اللهم اربط على قلوب أمهات وآباء الشهداء وألهمهم الصبر والقوة والسلوان يا رب العالمين اللهم وفق ولي أمرنا ملكنا حمد بن عيسى لما تحب وترضى اللهم احفظه وأدم عليه موفور الصحة والعافية والسعادة وأطل في عمره وتوله بعنايتك ورعايتك وبارك له في ولي عهده وفي أهله وأبنائه وذريته اللهم وفقه لهداك واجعل أعماله الصالحة في رضاك اللهم وفقه لما فيه الخير والصلاح للبلاد والعباد وهيئ له البطانة الصالحة الناصحة يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم آمنا في وطننا البحرين وفي خليجنا واحفظ لنا جيشنا ورجال أمننا واجعل هذا البلد آمنا مطمئنا سخاء رخاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم احفظ جنودنا البواسل المرابطين على الحدود واربط على قلوبهم وسدد رميهم وانصرهم على عدوهم واشف جرحاهم وتقبل شهداءهم يا سميع الدعاء ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين نقرأ سورة الفاتحة على أرواح الشهداء الأبرار في الماضي والحاضر وفي كل مكان ونسأل الله عز وجل أن يجعل هذه الساعة ساعة إجابة وقبول بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته After that, the royal protocol chief requested His Royal Highness to water the palm tree as symbol of eternal life.
Finally, the national anthem was played signaling the conclusion of the commemorative event. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of Commemoration Day as a solemn occasion recognizing the contributions of fallen servicemen since the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain. The Deputy King noted that fallen servicemen embody the highest values of bravery and are a source of pride for Bahrain for generations to come. His Royal Highness emphasized the significance of the 17th of December as a pivotal national commemoration each year under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. This day honors Bahraini servicemen who sacrificed their lives, whether within Bahrain or abroad, in defense of the values of righteousness and fairness while upholding national security and sovereignty in combat and terrorism. His Royal Highness saluted members of the armed forces and security authorities for their unwavering commitment to serving the kingdom and its people with courage and valor. His Royal Highness, the Deputy King, affirmed that every fallen serviceman is a national hero, noting that their heroic actions will remain engraved in the nation memory. His Royal Highness highlighted that the families of the fallen servicemen are equally honorable as the martyrs, citing their patriotism and commitment to instill their love for their kingdom in the minds and the hearts of their sons. The Deputy King commended Bahraini citizens for their admirable attitudes, unity and dedication in supporting the families of the deceased fallen servicemen, demonstrating the cohesion of Bahrain society where every martyr is cherished as the son of every Bahraini and all are a part of the one family. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labour Fund Timkeen, His Highness Major Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa.
His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, today visited the state of Kuwait to extend his condolences to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, following the passing of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister extended his condolences to their Highnesses and Excellencies, the children of the late Amir, and the members of the Al Sabah family, wishing His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah success in continuing Kuwait's progress and development to benefit Kuwait and its people. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad recalled the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah in championing Arab and Islamic causes, consolidating joint Gulf action, and advancing Kuwait's development. His Royal Highness highlighted the commitment of the late Emir and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in furthering Bahrain Kuwait relations and advancing multi sector collaborations. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed expressed his gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness and the accompanying delegation for their heartfelt condolences. His Royal Highness was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. Under the patronage of National Security Advisor Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and in the presence of Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, a ceremony was held to mark a commemoration day in the Royal Guard in Bahrain Defense Force. سلام سيدي سمو طاج الحرس الملكي سلام قف Get back! 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سيدي الفريق الركن سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة مستشار الأمن الوطني قائد الحرس الملكي أخواني الضباط الأخوة الحضور السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سيدي خير ما نبدأ بحفنا هذا آيات من الذكر الحكيم يتلوها على مسامعنا الرغيب أفضل عبد الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أمواتا بل أحياء فرحين بما آتاهم الله من فضله ويستبشرون بالذين لم يلحقوا بهم من خلفهم ألا خوف عليهم ألا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون يستبشرون بنعمة من الله وفضل وأن الله لا يضيع أجر المؤمنين صدق الله العظيم Following the recitation of verses from the Holy Quran, one shot was fired for a minute of silence. A second shot announced the end of the silent tribute. After that, the band played the last return melody, and the religious guide offered the prayer of the fallen servicemen before His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid watered the palm tree, which symbolizes eternal life. سيدي الدعاء لارواح الشهداء مع العميد دكتور محمد بوجندل اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وتجاوز عنا وعنهم واكرم نزلهم وسع مدخلهم اللهم اغسلهم بالماء والثلج والبرد ونقهم من الذنوب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الابيض من الدنس اللهم اغفر لنا ولهم يا رب العالمين اللهم ابدلهم دارا خيرا من دارهم واهلا خيرا من اهلهم اللهم اغفر لنا ولهم يا رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اجمعين
The commander of the Royal Guard said that the names, memories and sacrifices of the fallen servicemen of duty among the people of Bahrain will be immortalized in the history of the nation and will always be written in letters of light in the history of our dear kingdom. His Highness said that the contribution they made in the arenas of pride and honor, defending the homeland and supporting our brothers and supporting legitimacy. His Highness added that the anniversary of the Fallen Servicemen's Day was a general gesture from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, to affirm the high status of the martyrs to His Majesty and his high appreciation for their noble sacrifices in the fields of pride and dignity. Royal Guards Special Force Commander Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the ceremony. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pointed out to the embedment of the white rasji flower in the green palm front has turned into an icon expressing the marking of the Martyrs' Day and is a badge of pride and dignity by watering marks the Martyrs' Day bearable. His Highness the National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain will not neglect nor forget its heroic men who sacrificed their lives for their land. In conclusion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his gratitude and appreciation to the families of the martyrs who carried the banner of national responsibility so that their children can continue the path with their heroic fathers and relatives followed to continue the path of sacrifice and redemption with all honor. اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وتجاوز عنا وعنهم وأكرم نزلهم ووسع مدخلهم اللهم اغسلهم بالماء والثلج والبرد اللهم اغفر لنا ولهم يا رب العالمين The martyrs of the Kingdom of Bahrain provided the most wonderful examples of sacrifices and redemption in the fields of pride and dignity. And the fields bear witness to their valor in various missions and in any place inside and outside the kingdom. Marking Martyrs Day represents a national occasion that the people of Bahrain cherish because of the noble values it establishes and emphasizes the strength of Bahraini men who are loyal to the nation and His Majesty the King. The commemoration day marked on the 17th of December of every year represents a patriotic occasion dear to the hearts of all the people of the kingdom. Designating this day came following a royal directive from His Majesty the King to be a national day to mark the nation's fallen servicemen and the sacrifices they made in order to protect the country. The Kingdom of Bahrain pays tribute to its fallen servicemen on the commemoration day held on December 17th, launched by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. It is a special and patriotic occasion to recall the loyalty and sacrifices of the fallen servicemen in military, civil and humanitarian fields. These fallen heroes are performed their patriotic duties with devotion and dedication in Bahrain and abroad and sacrificed themselves for the sake of the nation and its security. As a result, His Majesty the King ordered the establishment of the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen in 2016, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and the development of programs and initiatives to support and assist the children of the families of the fallen servicemen. This honorable day is associated with a white rasji flower and a green palm front.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lemsellem, sent a cable of condolences to Kuwait's National Assembly, Speaker Ahmed Al Saadoun, following the demise of the late Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. Al Lemsellem noted in his cable that the Arab and Islamic nations have lost a wise leader who had devoted his life to serve his people, his nation, and their religion. He added that the late Emir always supported humanitarian causes and had always sought to advance a development in Kuwait. He also affirmed the late Amir's efforts in strengthening historical and deep relations between Bahrain and Kuwait. The speaker sent a similar cable to Kuwaiti ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Thamir Jabir al-Ahmed al-Sabah.